July 19, 23, 10 p.m. Russia in holy war in Ukraine against Satanic West, LGBT, Commander. A. V. L. A. D. I. M. I. R. P. U. T. P. T. I. A. Lodinov, the commander of Chechen forces Ding for Russia, praised Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine, calling it a holy war against the satanic values of Europe and the United States as well as the LGBTQ community. A. Lodinov made the remarks during a recent segment of Russia state-run Russia One television channel. A clip of his remarks were shared to Twitter on Sunday by Julia Davis, a columnist for the Daily Beast and creator of the Russian media monitor. Chechnya, where A. Lodinov hails from, is a republic of Russia under the jurisdiction of Moscow. Subscribe for $1. July 19, 23, 10 p.m. Russia in holy war in Ukraine against Satanic West, LGBT, commander in his comments, the Chechen commander praised Putin for standing up against the West and NATO, describing them as evil. He praised the Russian president for preventing LGBTQ rights from advancing in their country, contending that the GHT in Ukraine was a war against the marginalized community. Subscribe now from just $1. This is a holy war our saints and elders spoke of, A. Lodinov asserted, who went on to say that he praises God to live in Russia and that the country is led by Putin. He is the man that refused to accept the so-called European values, the commander added. In reality, those are Satanist values that are imposed on the entire world, he said. A. Lodinov noted that he is grateful that Putin is following the values of the Most High. July 19, 23, 10 p.m. Russia in holy war in Ukraine against Satanic West, LGBT, commander referring to God. We are not under the AGS of the LGBT and as long as he's alive, we won't be under those AGS. He also called American democracy the main enemy of mankind. Continuing, he said the US, Europe and NATO carry within them everything that is satanic, and that they are the army of the Antichrist. Sign up for Newsweek's email updates. A, che a Chechen commander leading peers in support of Russia praised President Vladimir Putin for being opposed to the LGBTQ community, describing the war in Ukraine as a holy war against the West Satanist values. Above, participants take part in a pride parade on June 25 in Warsaw, Poland. Meshij Ma the Chechen commander described his forces being with Russia against Ukraine as the army of Jesus. He praised Putin for doing what the Islamic countries should have done by getting back against the US and NATO. Putin launched the full-scale invasion of Ukraine nearly ve months ago on February 24. The Russian leader and other Moscow Athiels bizarrely claimed that Kiev is led by Nazis in a bid to justify their unprovoked assault. In reality, the Eastern European nation's President Volodymyr Zelensky is Jewish and had family members killed in the Holocaust genocide perpetrated by the German Nazis in July 19, 23, 10 p.m. Russia in holy war in Ukraine against Satanic West, LGBT, Commander World War II. When Zelensky was RST elected in 2019 with nearly three quarters of the vote Ukraine's prime minister was also Jewish. Read more Russia fails to fix ad hoc command during Ukraine pause. Human Rights Watch reported in its World Report 2021 that the government continued its trajectory of homophobic discrimination and used the gay propaganda ban to justify a criminal prosecution. As a result of the 2020 constitutional reform, the definition of marriage as a union between a man and a woman was incorporated into the constitution. A bill submitted to Parliament includes a ban on same-sex marriage and changes that will negatively affect transgender people's rights, including to marry and raise children, the report explained. In 2019, Zelensky shut down a homophobic heckler at an event. July 19, 23, 10 p.m. Russia in holy war in Ukraine against Satanic West, LGBT, Commander we all live together in an open society where each person can choose their sexual orientation. Leave those people be, for God's sake, the Ukrainian president said at the time. T hat viral video of Ukraine's president at Zelensky UA powerfully shutting down a homophobic heckler now with more context by At Romadsk. Newsweek reached out to the Russian Foreign Ministry for comment. Request REPRINT and July 19, 23, 10.01 As Russia attacks Ukraine's Western values, LGBTQ plus people stand as a target. By Alex J. Our Russia's invasion of Ukraine has sent shockwaves of uncertainty through its Western neighbor. If Putin ultimately prevails, what remnants of Western freedoms would remain intact is unknown. But one thing is clear, the rights of the nation's LGBTQ plus population would come under re. Although not an international leader in the advancement of LGBTQ plus rights, 
Ukraine has taken significant steps over the past decade to better the lives of its queer citizens. In 2015 it implemented anti-discrimination employment laws, and in 2016 it began allowing gay and bisexual men to donate blood, all part of an effort to become a more equitable state. July 19, 23, 10.01 p.m. As Russia attacks Ukraine's Western values, LGBTQ plus people stand as a target in contrast, Russia has moved in the opposite direction. In 2013, it banned same-sex couples from adopting Russian children, and in 2020 it outlawed same-sex marriage. The Kremlin has also cracked down on the ability of LGBTQ plus activists to organize, and has permitted law enforcement in the Chechnya region to carry out violent campaigns against the community. There are a lot of reasons to be concerned about the Ukrainian people generally, but particularly marginalized communities like the LGBTQ plus community, Democratic Congressman David Chichilin, who serves on the House Foreign Affairs Committee and chairs the LGBTQ plus Equality Caucus, told Newsweek. Vladimir Putin commonly makes references to LGBTQ plus people not being welcome in Russia and other disparaging comments about the community, he added, so it's a very big difference. July 19, 23, 10.00 LGBT activists usually are the same people who care about human rights, Bogan Globe of the non LGBTQ Ukrainians in America told Newsweek. Ukraine has made strides in recent years in promoting LGBTQ plus rights, advancements that could be under threat following the Russian invasion. Here, an activist waves a rainbow AG as police officers walk by during a protest for LGBTQ plus rights in front of the Ukrainian president's house in Kiev on July 30, 2021. Photo by Sergei Supinsky Chi Chilin notes that many of Ukraine's pro-LGBTQ plus actions in recent years are part of a promotion of democratic values designed to make it a more attractive candidate for NATO membership. Last November, the U.S. and Ukraine signed a charter on strategic partnership that confirmed the importance of advancing the rights of the LGBTQ plus community. Prior to signing this declaration, Chi Chilin said Ukraine had for years been building up its LGBTQ plus civil society and promoting the community's public visibility through providing protection against opposition groups who look to disrupt pride events. Bogdan Globa, who heads the nonprofit LGBTQ Ukrainians in America, fears the individuals who've spent years digging for these advancements could become Putin's RST targets. LGBT activists usually are the same people who care about human rights, Globa told Newsweek. They are people who work locally but travel internationally to speak with media. He added a chilling warning. Russia will kill them, he said, because after they will take over Ukraine, they will need to install their puppet government to control territory, and human rights activists are the people who prevent that control. July 19, 23. Congressman David Chichilin warns that LGBTQ plus activists in Ukraine could face persecution. Here, he speaks at the Equality Wins reception hosted by the Human Rights Campaign at the Mayour Hotel on January 3, 2019 in Washington, D.C. photo by Paul Moragi slash Getty Images. July 19, 23, 10.01 p.m. As Russia attacks Ukraine's Western values, LGBTQ plus people stand as a target Globa has spoken with activists on the ground in Ukraine, who told him they feel afraid and helpless. Most do not want to leave their homeland, but those who do are facing a occult journey. Chi Chilin armed that the persecution of queer activists is a real concern, and argued that the U.S. must take action to combat this threat by passing the Global Respect Act. Sponsored by Chi Chilin last May, the GRA would impose visa-blocking sanctions on individuals responsible for or complicit in violating the human rights of other people on the basis of their sexual orientation, gender identity, or sex characteristics. The bill passed the House on February 9, picking up six Republicans' votes as well as those of every Democrat present that day. It now awaits passage in the Senate. Chi Chilin said the measure would be an effective tool in cracking down on Russians who perpetrate violence against LGBTQ plus Ukrainians. He emphasized that the federal government must continue to work with members of civil society who collaborate with LGBTQ plus organizations on the ground to ensure that America can provide continual assistance for queer Ukrainians as the situation develops. We have a well-established track record of standing up for freedom and human rights around the world, Chi Chilin told Newsweek. I hope that we will continue to be a place where these individuals who are leaving Ukraine because of fears about being tortured or imprisoned or killed because their membership in the LGBTQ community can come and end comfort and refuge, he added.